Welcome to the JESDA Summit interviews uh, and welcome to Sabrina Minisketo. You are a professor of quantum information computing and logic at the University of Helsinki, CEO and co-founder of Algorithmic, a startup pioneering in quantum software, and you participated in the anticipatory briefing preparing for quantum computing. So quantum computing it looks like it's going to become a billion dollar industry in the next decade, yet quantum hardware is really in its early stages, is kind of lagging behind. Why is that? Uh, yes, uh, certainly uh, quantum computers uh, are uh, not yet uh, at the stage uh, to provide uh, commercial value. Uh, but on the other hand, the roadmap of quantum hardware has been uh, very solidly and continuously uh, developing uh, in the direction we all expect. So nowadays, we are at a very special and excited time uh, in which the hardware uh, is reaching the capabilities that are able not only to advance science and therefore to provide really new answers to many uh, groundbreaking scientific questions, but also to reach what is known as a quantum advantage. So we expect soon uh, to see applications that will be uh, really, uh, already now there is competition between uh, the classical simulation, conventional simulations on computers and the quantum one, uh, and the two uh, are working together in a new paradigm uh, to solve the problems uh, that cannot be solved uh, with supercomputers alone. So in one word, the hardware is developing and we expect an inflection point in the next year. One of the problems is noise, which seems strange to us laymen. Why is noise uh, such a big problem for quantum computers? Because quantum computers rely uh, on uh, quantum physics, and so they are really based on very small microscopic objects uh, that uh, encode information. Uh, and quantum physics, quantum information is very delicate. Any disturbance due to whatever interaction arises with uh, everything that surrounds the quantum computer can be very deleterious and, and therefore uh, they need to be protected. Some of the quantum computers of today are held at cryogenic temperatures, very cold temperatures to reduce the noise. So this is perhaps uh, the most um, dangerous, the, the, the limiting factor in a way. Uh, in the development of quantum computers, uh, and that's also my specialty in my career I've been studying. What other challenges exist in terms of hardware today for quantum computers? I would say that one of the challenges, but also exciting points, is the integration between uh, quantum computers and uh, supercomputers, uh, and in particular, integration between technologies like uh, quantum computing and uh, AI and machine learning. So we believe that this will be this integration will really lead to the new uh, exponential technology able to disrupt many industries and also contribute to the um, SDG uh, and therefore to benefit all humanity. Yeah, so what uh, computer breakthroughs do you see transforming our lives in the future? I personally think that one of the most impactful applications will be uh, in medical and pharmaceutical. Uh, and in particular, uh, in this way, the integration of quantum and AI will be able to, in drug discovery, uh, allow um, to um, discover and bring to market medicines in a, a very cost effective um, and also shorter time. So in this way, really uh, helping uh, to cure diseases like cancer, uh, which is in, indeed one of the use cases we are working on. That's great news. Um, thank you very much, Sabrina Miniscato, for talking with us today. Thank you.